So I've set up a couple of workbenches in the bedroom of my apartment because I don't have a garage or a workspace. And so I have sort of electronic stuff in my 3D printer on one bench and uh, like a bin of parts. And on the other bench I have a clamp and I sort of like drill stuff and saw stuff on that one. So I, I like the, uh, the like the boundary between people and computers, the sort of human-computer interaction field. I like, you know, being able to create new forms of input, new forms of output, like of, so I just like this whole idea of being able to bridge the real world with virtual reality. Your average hacker can get one, just sort of play around with it and make some really amazing stuff. And so that's, that's the, the importance of the Kinect, that it brought uh, computer vision to the masses, I guess, a reliable computer vision to the masses. You can stay in front of a Kinect and the Kinect will capture your you know, yourself as a point cloud and I have scripts that turn it into a solid model file that sends, that can then be sent to the printer and the printer will print out a copy of you. I recall when I was a kid I had like one of those, not remote controlled cars, but cars with like a remote that's on a wire. Remember those? Yeah. <laughs> So I had one of those and it stopped working for some reason and so I took a screwdriver and took it apart and I still didn't know what was wrong with it so I just sort of, you know, took the uh, the motor and the wheels and a battery and got some wire and twisted it together in like sort of the vague shape of a car and put it all together and my dad helped me you know, connect the battery to the thing but, you know, it sort of shot for it and and that got me into this whole, like, hey, I can take things apart and make them better than they were. And in this case, it may not have been better, but, you know. And the other project is, like, sort of a silly thing. It's, uh, you control the uh, extruder toolpath with, uh, with your hand, so you wave your hand around and the printer replicates what you're doing with your hand on, uh, you know, on the print bed as plastic, and so you can draw sort of blobby-looking shapes you're waving around your arm and if you try to make something that's larger than say like an inch by an inch by a couple of millimeters tall your arm will get very tired so it's basically the least practical application for a 3D printer and that's why that's part of the reason that I did it I think there's a better term for it but I call it uh, an adjacent reality where like you know I want to live in a world that's just like this but where 3D printers are as common as toasters where you know everyone can have a 3D printer in their in their garage or in their kitchen they can just sort of download a file and get an object in a matter of minutes or hours and so I built my own 3D printer as sort of you know a stepping stone towards that